Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Satyo Jata Bhavani. I have completed my MBBS from Raj Rajeshwari Medical College and Hospital in Bangalore. Uh, Raj Rajeshwari Medical College and Hospital in Bangalore is one of the top medical colleges in Bangalore. It is ranked number 5 in all of the medical colleges in Bangalore. And uh, it turned deemed university in 2019 and it is affiliated to MGR University in Tamil Nadu. And uh, the campus is a very, very huge campus. Uh, all the facilities that you need, like a gymnasium, a swimming pool, are all available there. There is a huge cricket ground uh, in the campus. We have a football ground and a basketball ground. All the hostels are separate for both boys and girls. There is a separate UG hostel, there is a separate PG hostel, and the resident quarters also. And uh, there is a medical college and then there is there are two or the two buildings attached with the medical college as hospitals. You have state of the art facilities in labs, OTs and uh, all sorts of radiological procedures also. When it comes to transportation, it is in Kengeri, uh, near Kumbul Godo, a little further than Kengeri. It is easily uh, reachable uh, with all uh, uh, buses or even metros. Um, when it comes to travel, you have about 15 to 16 uh, buses which take you all over Bangalore, so that should not be a problem. And then when it comes to the four years of MBBS, uh, the first year Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry, we have enough cadavers and all the uh, lecturers that we have in Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry are highly accomplished and they are very easy to approach and any doubts that you have they are very very nice and in a very positive way they encourage you to ask doubts and very academic in nature and they give importance to academic excellence also uh, when it comes to second year that is pathology microbiology and uh, uh, pharmacology uh, we have clinical exposure in pathology microbiology and uh, pharmacology you are exposed to patients in second year itself so that you know how to deal with patients, how to take a history and uh, how to uh, look, go forward with the diagnosis. You have classes, um, frequent classes, you have frequent demonstrations and you have a very good lab facilities which will tell you um, um, for all the practical purposes. Uh, when it comes to third year, that is ENT, Community Medicine, uh, Ophthalmology and Forensic Medicine, uh, you, you, are, you, you are told to go to the hospital every day, you have uh, postings for 3 hours. There you are taught to take the history, how to make the diagnosis, you are taught how to use uh, certain devices and instruments. You are also given proper OT exposure for uh, whatever uh, common ailments that we see in all these subjects. And uh, they give equal importance to both practical as well as theoretical aspects of the subject. So it is, uh, you have enough patient inflow because it is an ESI recognized hospital and all the uh, facilities are free here for any inpatient, uh, it is free, um, no registration, no bed charges and very uh, free blood tests, blood investigations, x-ray and USG are also free and at a very minimal cost your MRI and CT scan also will be done. So you have a lot of patients coming in from Ramnagar, Mandya, uh, Kengeri, Kumbulgodo and surrounding areas. Uh, coming to fourth year, uh, you will be you will have again three to four hours of postings, and uh, you will be told to take a case, and there will be live demonstration from all the faculties to how to do examination and how to take up the case. And uh, finally, because that is what is important in final year, your clinical exposure. So you will have ample clinical exposure and exposure time also. They will take classes from third year itself even for fourth year. So you will be more accomplished to get into fourth year with good knowledge base uh, they are very highly ac academically oriented also so and all the faculty are easily approachable even in, for all the clinical subjects you will have enough OPD exposure and IPD exposure you will have OT exposure in general surgery OBG also so that you can get a complete uh, knowledge in a holistic experience